Big questions out of St. Augustine tonight. Absolutely. Can the city safely remove the Confederate monument at the plaza downtown? And how much of, will it cost? This after descendants of Confederate veterans filed a lawsuit against the city, saying that they're moving too fast. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live from the plaza. And Marilyn, you talked to and questioned the city about this specifically today. Yes, and though the city wouldn't comment on an ongoing lawsuit, they told me the cost just for the consultation and removal of this monument will be nearly $163,000. The city says they can't make any guarantees on a safe removal because of its age and size. I spoke with one woman whose family's name is on this monument who says that's exactly why it shouldn't be touched at all. You can see signs of support from both sides surrounding this monument in St. Augustine as the city faces a lawsuit after voting to have it removed. We just feel like to bring the memorial down because of a race issue is not going to bring the community together. Jewel Pacetti is a direct descendant of a veteran on the memorial. She signed the lawsuit filed Sunday against the city's handling of the monument. No one went through the necessary steps to even look at the um, architecture of the memorial, can it be moved? Can it be taken apart? The petitioners request a temporary injunction to prohibit the city from relocating it until a study is done by the Historic Architectural Review Board. They want to get expert opinions on the feasibility of relocating the monument, and they want to keep the injunction in place until the court is satisfied with the relocation plan to preserve its structure. The city won't comment on the lawsuit, but I spoke with the historic preservation officer who says the appropriate steps for removal are being taken, though they can't guarantee a safe removal because of its size and age. What it would take to have a monument this age removed safely. You want to have very accurate documentation of it so that uh, when it is reconstructed, relocated, that it could be done accurately. She said the process can take several weeks and city officials say consultation and removal alone will cost nearly $163,000. And to that I would say it's it's not just a dollar cost, but it's a cost of, to our community, of our values, of what is important to us. And there's still no word on where the monument will be moved to. I'm told that depends on the transportation and the spacing of that location. There are recommendations for museums and grave sites so people can still see the monument and pay their respects. We're live in St. Augustine, Maryland Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.